Yes, ma'am. Good evening, Mayor. I have a question in reference to the budget, and I have a few things. It's not, it's not going to be in order, though. On the, um, on the police department, I want to see um, the community, community police that's not on there. On there. <coughs> Community police. Okay. Also, um, see about de-escalating training up under the police department. What's that question? I'm sorry. Up under the police department. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see anything in reference to the training. I want to make sure that in the budget that it was it was going to be um, where the police department would go through. The escalating training. Yeah, is the chief? Chief. Yes, sir. Um, Ms. Page is asking about de escalation training. Could you speak on that subject matter? I can. Uh, the governor put an issue about a few years ago where it's mandated now we didn't get de escalation training for the last, I'll say, three or four years ever since the governor mandated. So we're, we're taking that. So, do y'all do it once a year or once a year. as they are hired? Once a year. Okay, thank you. Yes, and, and community policing? Community policing is a philosophy. It's not a budgeted item. So there's nothing to budget for in that. Okay, is that something that, that you had took in consideration of doing with the police department? Yes, um, That we have for community policing? Our, our sorry, training on the philosophy of community policing. It's just part of the mindset. <coughs> okay, yes, you uh, still not answering. At one, at one point when we had a meeting, it was asked that the police department, if we could have community policing in the neighborhood and wherever it was going to be set up at, is that something that needs to be budgeted or is that something that you're... No, it's not budgeted at all. That's just part of it. Yeah, and administratively, we need to get together and form that committee we talked about and, and implement that. So, okay, so that and we'll do that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that was that is correct. Way. The next thing I have is um, I know we had talked about the road pavement and DOT. Uh, we can do the road pavement to DOT, and that's like a two year out. And being that we have how streets and roads in such horrible, horrible shape at this moment, why do we have to wait those two years out to, in order to do the paving of the streets? I, I just, I don't think you probably heard me. I probably uh, Okay, I'm sorry. Instead, we, we generally been paving between four and five hundred thousand dollars a year, and we had all our roads, we had an engineer come in and rank all our roads according to needs. And we've taken three years worth of those needs and we're going to pay it um, probably in April or May when we bid all that out. Okay, because I looked at the road payment and like on ninth on ninth street from forty one all the way down, we need payment. It's just like when you when you're up on um, Pine Street, Pine and Six, you got the big pop on there. And then right there on fifth, you got the big pop. So as people complain about the pop hole, uh, knocking the alignment out, then on thing y'all been doing is just coming, just building it in, and then it's washing back out. So, some of this pain. Yeah, so two, you're talking about a twofold problem. One is that our repair and maintenance needs to be spiffed up a little bit, is what you're saying, and we can do that. But again, we're going to pay one and a half million dollars worth, resurface one and a half million dollars worth of roads, and I think that'll help greater than what you're talking about here. Yes, because you okay. just doing like doing it in Fortune. It's like from maybe Fifth Street, Fourth Street, but it's not. Y'all won't do the whole street all the way down. It's just only going to resurface just that little portion there. But some of the streets are so horrible that they need it all the way down. And I, I just don't think that we should um, <coughs> wait two years on that. We're not going to wait two years. Okay. Now, um, up under um, your department. The office department. I was trying to see how many. You know how many employees we have. Uh, 
technically we have a little over 100, but right now we got 90. Right now we got about 86. 86. Okay, yeah. well, within the office, how many do we have? In our Seven. front office? Yes, from the front office and the office. I guess it's, it's, sep it's separated, so how many do we have here that's on, on salary? Well, we, let's see, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this building. Okay, okay, now. And those salaries are split among different departments. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, I yeah. looked at the other department, but where do the consultants come in at? Consultants under yes. technical and engineering and professional fees. Okay, and how many consultants do we have? Um, it depends on the projects we're doing. <clears throat> we have an engineering firm that does all our engineering on water and sewer, et cetera. But if we're doing something like uh, overlays or et cetera, then that's budgeted in here. We come back and get additional budget to do those things. So <clears throat> we've not hired any um, specifically right now. We are going to put out an RFQ for um, them to take a look at the city hall if we need to expand and when we need to do it and then or if we need to build something new so that will be administered by our engineer and then we'll ask for RFQs from architecture firms they'll submit that back to the engineer and he'll make a recommendation and Mary Council will have to vote on that. Okay, do we, how many consultants should I say that we will have as far as the office wise as far as when we go from, I know we got different department heads that left and once they left um, and took on another job or whatever they did, then we kept them on as a consultant. Who? No, I see Mike Bell, I seen Mike Bell on there, but you don't have any more besides Mike Bell. Not as I know of. Okay. I don't want to call no name, ma'am. I don't want to call no name, because that's my mask. Okay. I don't think so. So you have none that's... I don't want to think of any this out there. Okay, as far as the gas department, do we have a consultant there? We have an engineering consultant, yes. And also an electric. Uh, and the water and the sewer, those are typically engineers. Okay, now the ones that we have as consultants that took on other jobs, are we are we paid and paying the insurance for them or do they have to come in every so often or do we just pay for their insurance? Um, now if we hire a consultant, they bill us straight up. We don't pay for their insurance to the city. No, not one that you hire. Okay, Mike Devlin used to be full time and then you went part time. Okay, so if we had, um, like our um, elect department, he left. Yeah. Okay, is he, is he a consultant? No. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. With the different department that we have, and we have someone to leave that position, and they went, say that they retired, and then they went on somewhere else, and we just want to keep them on as a consultant. Will we then carry the insurance for them? No. Uh, um, there's only been <clears throat> fire chief left. Okay. We don't pay him anything. Okay. Uh, the electric department guy left. We had uh, guys from the treatment plant and the water left. We don't have Tommy took treatment plant, water, and sewer, and street department. So we, we didn't pay any of them anything, so no. Okay, so it'd be fair if I come back to you every two times with a name and we get together and see. Absolutely. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions, Councilor? Any more comments from the uh, general audience in regards to the budget 2021? <coughs> You need to go outside and ask. Go outside and ask. Any more comments from this flight? I don't know, sir. What is that? Very good, my brother. 
Yes. All right. Any motion and a second, please? How much a motion, sir? Second. All right. All right. All right.